Hey folks, thought I'd come back with uh, another video showing the lambda by row function. And in this case, it's also uh, looking at your sums. So oftentimes I want to sum a set of uh, uh, some rows, um, uh, but I didn't want to have that be the case. I wanted to sum this data here. And I could go ahead and hit enter. And now notice Google is offering to autofill. I could say yes to that. But I have a formula in every single column. And like we showed here, if I move this data up here, my by row averages work, but my sum isn't working. I'd have to take and copy the row down and get that 175. And we also know, just like the array formula, if I were to try, let me let me insert a row uh, column here. Uh, if I were to try to turn this formula into an array formula, copy that and come in here and paste and actually get this to uh, look at the whole range of data and then wrap it in an array formula. And basically, again, what it's going to do is not give us the answer that we're looking for. We're doing a sum of A3 colon D, which is basically uh, all of this, and that's my 3446. That's not what I wanted. It's not showing up by a row. Sum is not an array formula, so you can't really use it that way. So let's go ahead um, and leave that. Let's, uh, this is sum with array. And again, we, that doesn't really work the way we want, so not great. Now, let's see what we can do with the by row. Equals by row. Yep, that's by column. Let's do by, uh, by row. And we want to do it with this range. So, and then I'm going to actually drop the, uh, the ending so this will work with we uh if we add new rows and then again we need to put in our lambda um, our lambda function and in this case we're going to call it row again r for row you could put anything in there i could call this cosmo it doesn't really matter or you know we could call it uh, Cosmo, it doesn't matter. R makes sense because I'm doing it by row. So uh, in this case, what we want to do is do a sum of that function we just sort of named, that, that variable Cosmo. We want to do a sum of Cosmo, uh, Cosmo, and we uh, want to close out our Lambda and close out our by row. And you can see with a single formula right here, I'm able to do something I couldn't, didn't used to be able to do, at least not so elegantly with a single formula. I am getting this same data that you see here with a single formula, the lambda, and, and just as a demonstration here, you can see it doesn't matter whether I use, if I change this to an R now, of course, uh, row that tried to autofill for me. If I just change this to an R and don't um, have it fill and then hit enter, that's going to break, of course, because we defined R and then we defined Cosmo, which isn't part of that. And uh, boy, that autofills as soon as you do that. So we don't want that. We want just an R. And wow, Google's really wanting to do that so I have to uh, fix that let me backspace and get rid of that just to show an example it doesn't matter what you use for that function